So from a numbers perspective, man, I mean, for both anxiety and depression, I mean, you're scoring pretty high uh, in the severe range for generalized anxiety symptoms. For depression, you're scoring in a mild to moderate range, and that's something we'd want to look out for. Mm -hmm. Um, But if if it's not a a medical health issue, then chances are uh, you, you are struggling with anxiety. Before this video starts, please know it is not for sympathy. This is to share my experience as an artist and a creative who deals with anxiety and other mental health issues in the past. I also want to put this out there for the people who are waiting for me to get back to them. It's not that I'm just ignoring you, it's just I'm dealing with things and these are those things. But this is very treatable. Again, uh, when it comes to the approach to all of this is like paying attention to all of the things. Okay, so what you just heard was an appointment oh, that I had with a behavioral health specialist. Now, I've made videos on this channel about being depressed as a musician before. It's been rough these past few weeks because of wherever in the corner I'll show the video, but also just work and growing and stress and life. So many, there's a whole entire life that we have to live outside of creating in these four walls or wherever you create your music. It's hard enough trying to manage your own music creation and this thing that you love, this thing that you have to teach yourself and you have to learn new skills or else you become static and boring. But it's hard to learn those things, those new things and to grow when you're also trying to manage your own life, your own mentality and make sure that you want to live the next day. I know that sounds dramatic, but some people that's the reality, you know? And so I wanna talk about it. I wanna talk about the things that happen outside of the studio as much as I want to talk about the things that happen inside the studio. Why do I want to do that? Because we as musicians are people as much as we are musicians. We're humans first, blessed with the power to create and to make something out of nothing. But in being human first, we have to look after our health physically. We have to look after our health mentally. Granted, yes, some of the most creative geniuses out there are some of the most challenged mentally. But that's not a flex, you know? It's not a flex to be insane and a genius. It's a flex to be a genius who has issues, but takes care of them the best that they can. I know it's not easy. I know, you know, everybody's brain is built different. But I'm saying all this to say, if you're out there and you're in your journey and you're making this music and things are stressing you out, um, people are stressing you out, fans are stressing you out, haters are stressing you out, if you're out there and your journey is not where you want it to be and you're comparing yourself to other people because this is something I do every day. I scroll Instagram, every day I scroll TikTok, every day I scroll YouTube. I'm comparing myself to people who have been working at their craft a quarter of the time that I have, but have four times the success that I have. Meanwhile, I've been doing this for 25 years, 25 years. Comparison is the thief of joy and that's part of the mental health thing. You can't keep comparing yourself to other people. I'm kind of like going all over the place. Let this just be a lesson to everyone out there who's a musician, who's a music producer, a musician, a performer, an artist, any of those things. In this field, stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop comparing your music to other people, your success, your journey, your life. That's what screws most of us up because we think we have to be technically sound. We have to know all the terminology and things to be considered great music. Stop comparing yourself to people who went to college. They had hundreds of thousands of dollars to do that. Or they went into hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt to do that. You might not want to go into hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt to do that. I didn't, so I taught myself. It takes time, guys. What you don't see is the stress and the things that I've gone through in my life to get to the place that I am right now. To have these, these four walls around me so many things I had to deal with. Relationships dying and people leaving and episodes of depression and, and losing files and computers and investing hundreds, not hundreds of thousands, not yet, tens of thousands of dollars into my craft. You don't see all that behind the scenes. You don't see the nights I cried. You don't see the nights I almost quit, not just music, but I almost quit life. Okay, if you, if you catch what I'm saying, stop comparing yourself, stop it and take care of yourself. If the things in your life that are happening are not ideal, I'm not gonna sit here and say, just change it because I'm not one of those people. I'm just saying to make sure you keep paying attention to those things. You keep working at trying to take care and nurture those situations the best that you can. Because if you don't, you end up in a place where you don't wanna do anything, you have no motivation, your mental health is in shambles and you just, you know, 
don't think that you have to like for instance, make a new song every day, make a new beat every day. You have to write something every day. You have to make some kind of progress every day on your journey. You have to do this or do that or do this or do that or do this thing. Slow down. Slow down. Because it wasn't until I slowed down that I noticed I was going through hell in my mind. I was going through doubt and, and not knowing what's going to happen next in life. Just take care of yourself, man. I do know that these situations can inspire songs. I do know that people very well, like Kanye's a big one of them. I know I keep bringing him up, but he's one of my top people and I know what you're gonna say to that, but just leave me alone, okay? Um, we're both Gemini's. <laughs> I'm sure there's like 60 people that are watching this video and are like, oh, he's one of those. Astrology. <laughs> it goes deeper than astrology, boy. What you know about that human design, manifesting generator. Okay, what you know, what you know about that. If you guys need anything, and I know I can't answer everyone, I know. However, that was not okay. It's a it's a nail clipper. All right, <laughs> I'm I'm still not gonna be one of those YouTubers who doesn't respond to his comments. If you have something that you want to get off your chest, if you need some help in something, need some insight on something, if you just need somebody to talk to, whatever, leave a comment down below. If you don't want it to be public, then you can send me a text message. Either way, I'll be here. I think it's important that we check in on each other, even though I don't know half of you, I don't know the majority of you personally. And I don't have to because we're all humans. And I want to make sure that my fellow person is good. Why do I want to do that? Because community. Why wouldn't I want to make sure that another human is all right? Do I want to see other people suffer? No. So I encourage everyone out there. I don't know how we can do this, but let's build up some sort of way to check in on each other. You know, don't be afraid to speak out if you're feeling something negative, if you're feeling something that's bringing you down. Don't be afraid. At least don't be afraid to come to me, right? If you can't come to, to anybody else, you can come to me. It might take me some time. And by time, I mean sometimes it takes me a month or two or three to respond. <laughs> that's just by nature of my schedule. And, you know, but I'm here, okay? Um, I don't know how else to end this video, what else to say, just take care of yourself.